I'm running for the Senate. I think I'm the candidate because of uh, I uh, work for Senator Coates, helped create the health savings account, oh, yes. handled the health uh, jurisdiction on the uh, education and labor committee, medical device, pharmaceutical issues, worked with the administration, also helped Congressman Fred Grandy. Uh, Fred was gopher on the love boat, very intelligent congressman. Uh, married a lady, uh, we were in Detroit about six years, that area. And I helped Governor John Engler as his health care advisor, and we worked at that time to defeat the health care bill of Hillary Clinton. Uh, have a lot of foreign relations experience, uh, masters at Baylor University, studied with a lot of international students. And then I've been running a small business for about 20 years. Uh, I have two law offices in Noblesville and Kokomo that experience and that perspective is unique I think and I think it's a fresh idea fresh bull perspective that's needed I'm running because Joe Donnelly uh, he's made some votes that in my eyes are reflected more of New York yeah. than they are Indiana but uh, we're in Anderson today and a focus on jobs so Mark what are you going to do to bring jobs to Anderson Indiana you know I was just with my dad the day in Anderson and we were looking at 33,000 jobs that left and went to Mexico and China NAFTA needs to be renegotiated, yeah. uh, not yielding our sovereignty to global multinational agreements, mm. more one-on-one -on -one trade agreements with other countries. And playing on your uh, advantages, your competitive advantages, oh, yes. and exporting more of our goods, trying to bring some of those jobs back. Uh, one of the things I've been concerned about for eight years in the Obama administration had a lot of regulations, and in those regulations, there's no cost-benefit analysis. How's it going to affect a family? What's the cost economically versus the benefit? So I like what Governor Pence, now VP Pence, has been doing. They've knocked out 13 regulations that were really unneeded. I'm concerned. I feel like the administrative branch got so strong, I think we need to tame the beast. There was a, a separation of powers institutionally in our Constitution by our fr uh, the fathers that framed that Constitution. That's a check and balance system. They didn't want agencies, non-elected bureaucrats, legislating, passing these regulations without any consent, advice, approval by Congress. I'm in to stop that. I want more uh, balance of power. Congress can't sit on its hands. You need congressmen, senators that limited terms. They're not there to make a career. Hi. Come right through. They're not there for a career, but they're voting on what's best for the country. Sometimes that might mean you're only there for a short time. But uh, that, that plays out in the economic arena, and that plays out in the tax arena, where we really need to repatriate income, really support President Trump's plan, lowering the corporate tax, having businesses bring money here, not move the money and invest it in Europe have it here to, to bring in more jobs. Appreciate your leadership at Anderson University Thank and you all you do for the young Republicans. Thank you very much. Thanks Mark. for your questions. Great meeting you. Oh, great to be here.